Hakadosh Baruch Hu Masechet Yivamot of Kafalef Amud Aleph Twenty One A One. We were just mentioning in the Gemara yesterday. Itmar it was stated, Biat Kohen Gadol be'Almana when a Kohen Gadol has relations with an Almana, which means that the Almana fell in front of the Kohen Gadol for Yibum. Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Lazar. There's a machlok between Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Yochanan. One of them says, "Chalamer Ena Potel Tzaratah." She does not exempt her tzara. Her co-wife from Ibum. The Khalamar, one of them says, Potere Tzarata, she does exempt the co-wife from Ibum. The Almanam in the Nisuin, when we're talking about Almana from the Nisuin, from 100% marriage, Kule Alma lo plige, right? Nobody argues, right? The lo patra, that it's not going to come and it's not going to, uh, it's not going to come and it's not going to save her. Why? Right? It's not going to exempt her. This is why. The ena se doche lo tase vase, because remember, if it's Almanam in the Nisuin, it's also a positive commandment and a negative commandment. So, Kiplige, when is the machloka between them? Almana mina in Irusin, almana from the Irusin. Manda amar poteret, that means basically it was only from the engagement and it wasn't from the marriage. So, Manda amar poteret, according to the Manda amar, that it's going to exempt Sarata, it's because Ati Asev Dachilot Asev, it's a positive commandment, pushes off a negative commandment. But according to the Manda amar, Manda amar and poteret, Lo Ati Asev Dachilot Asev, we do not say that a positive commandment will push off a negative commandment. Why? Because just like Reh Shakir said, that since you could do Chalitza, so therefore we don't say positive pushes off a negative. One more time. When does positive push off a negative? Only in a case where you cannot do both. But here, if you do Chalitza, you could do both. So you did the positive and you did the negative. You did everything. So therefore, it does not push off and therefore you're going to be still uh, Chayyab. Meitve, so we're going to ask a question. The imba alu kanu. You remember this is the same brayta that we kept on saying above to do with the yevamot asurot that they did have relations, right? That means again, even though there was a negative commandment, if they did have relations with them, imba alu kanu, they acquired them. Uh, if they acquired them, it means amina torah. They were fitting to do yibum, right? And therefore, b'diavad it should help for the yibum. So answers the gemara. You're right, tiyufta. It's a good question. You're right because if you say that, that means midoraita. It's actually a good yibum. So what do we say that this is a question against Reshakish? Because Reshakish just told you that we do not do Yibum. Why? Because the positive commandment only pushes off a negative commandment if you can't do both. But here you can do both. So Reshakish is going to answer you. What are we talking about? What am I talking about? Only if you do the mitzvah. But here, Chalitza bimkom Yibum. Love mitzvah he chalitza instead of yibum is not a mitzvah, which means according to Shittat Reshakish, chalitza. If you did chalitza, that's not a mitzvah. The mitzvah is yibum. If you can't do yibum, so okay, you have a mitzvah of doing chalitza, uh, but chalitza instead of yibum is not even considered a mitzvah. Okay, fine. Now we're going to start to do with the uh, Amar Rava, to do with the Shniot Larayot. Okay. Amar Rava. Rava comes and he says, Remez shniot le shniot mina Torah minayim. How do we have a hint in the Torah that we're supposed to watch ourselves from the shniot larayot? Remember that there's arayot in the Torah, which is a moral relations. Now we're talking about shniot larayot, which is a second class of arayot. How do we know you have to be careful from them? Shnei Mabu says in a pasuk, ki et kol ha-toevota el asu an she'aretz. Right? That all these abominations, the people of the land, they did. Ha-toevota el. When it says ha'el, it's mashma, the toivot, which are kashot, which are so difficult, miklal, so therefore, ikarakot, so then there's lighter ones. Because if I just told you ha'el means strong ones, that means the people of the land, they did very strong, very harsh um, immorality, so therefore there's a lighter form of immorality. Umaynihu, what is that? Shniot larayot. So ask the gemara, umay mashma de ha'el, lishna de kashehu. How do you know that the word ha'el means that it's so harsh? How do you know that the ha'el means difficult, means hard, it's harsh, so therefore you're deducing if there's harsh, there's a lighter one. So he says, it says in, in the Pasuk by Nebuchadnezzar Melech Babel that ele ha'aretz lakach, he took the strong people of the land. So when it says el, right, el means strong. By the way, what? right, from here, we actually learned that that's also from the name of Akadosh Baruch Hu, the Dad Zekin Bela Tosot in the Kli Akar. They say that the Ikar Pirush of the Bila El by Hashem, why we say Ha'el, the God, El. What is El? 
not Elohim. Elohim is right, is the God of justice. But El comes from this word, right, that it's actually Ele or Eyal, which is Chazak, like Chazak with Kifut, Mamash strength, right? We're very strong. Okay, so that's where it comes from. So says the Gemara, one second, Lema Pligad Rabbi Levi. Why don't we say that this argues on Rabbi Levi? Why? The Amar Rabbi Levi says Rabbi Levi, Kashe on Shin Shel Midot, you tell me on Shin Shel Ariot. What's worse? If somebody comes and they commit adultery, or they come and they are cheating in scales, in weights, in weights. So says the Gemara, it's more difficult, it's more stronger the punishment. The butcher are not, uh, yeah. Not have, uh, it, yeah, let's see. So it says, yeah. more than Why? Because by Arayot, it's written in Kolo Toivot Ha'el. Okay? But by the ones, right, which are the concept of uh, Midot, it says, So when it says Ele with the extra hay, it's much, much harsher than El without the hay. Okay? And this is not like Rava. Because Rava just told me that El means very harsh. So says the Gimara, right? So one second. So El is Kashe. El is Kashe Mel, right? So he says El is harsh. But when it says El, it's even harsher than El. So therefore, the Belevi says that on Shan Shal Midot is even worse than on Shan Shal Arayot. Okay? So says the Gimara, Ka Be'arayot, Namik Tiva Ele. What are you talking about? Also, by Arayot is written El. So what are you telling me that Midot is worse than Arayot because by Midot it's written Elle and by Arayot it's written El. Also by Arayot it's written Elle, right? It says over there in the Pasuk also. It's also says Elle. So I answer the Gemara, no. Ha'hu, the Elle by Arayot is lemi'ute Midot mi Karet. It's coming to exclude Midot from Karet, right? Why? Because basically, if somebody has relations with Arayot, they get karet, they get cut off. If somebody does midot, they don't get karet. It's true, they have a, a, a stringency more than Arayot. But technically speaking, Arayot is karet. Here, here, there's no karet. Okay, so therefore, Arayot is stricter than midot because Arayot has karet and midot does not have karet. And that's why you have the extra L to say that only these ones have karet. The other ones do not have karet. But technically speaking, Midot is more stricter than Arayot. So the Gemara is going to say, so then, Maichum Raihu then. What is the stringency of Midot more than Arayot? If you just told me now that Arayot gets karet and Midot does not get karet, but you told me that Midot is worse than Arayot because by one it said El and one of them says El, right? So then what's the stringency? So the Gemara answers, Hani of Shabi Tshuva the hani lo of shabit shuvah. That's the that's the stringency. <laughs> By arayot, right? You can do teshuva. Why? A person went and they had more relations with a woman. It doesn't matter whether it's the anyone on the list. It could be mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, uh, daughters, uh, uh, wife's daughter. It could be two sisters. It could, anyone on the list. They know what they did. So they know what they did. Go do teshuva, and that's it. Kashe on shen shen midot, right? Somebody has a scale right here. And like Rabbi Haki says, right? They go to the butcher. Right? It's the Nachala Baba Haki. You saw what I said to you, yeah? Huh? Nachala Baba Haki today. Yeah. Yeah? I said that to you last time. Yeah? So, right? The Rabbi Yitzhak of Uchatzira. Yeah? So he says, right? I've got here a butcher shop. Yeah? And right here, I've got the scales. Right? He comes in. I weigh it. Give it back to him. Comes in. Comes in. Comes in. Comes in, I just cheated every single person. You think I remember who I cheated and how much I cheated? It's impossible, right? You can't do teshuva, because it's the rabbin. Who do you know who to give money back to? And who do you know how much to give money back to? It's impossible. So because of that, he says, that's why kashe on shan shal midot to tell marayot. That means even though the punishment of arayot is stricter, because this is karet, and midot there's no karet, but the fact that arayot, you could still do teshuva, and the midot you cannot do teshuvah because it's of the rabim, so therefore that's why it's much it's much worse. Okay. Yehuda Amar Mehachar. Yehuda comes and he says, "I've got another place. Where do we have the hint? 
of Arayot in the Torah. Because again, one more time, Rava came and he said that the hint from the Torah of Shniot Larayot came from the word Ha'el, because Ha'el is so strict, and therefore there has to be a lighter one. What's a lighter one? Which is the Shniot Larayot. Comes of Yehuda and he says, no. He says, it says in the Pasuk in Kohelet, V'yoter Shaya Kohelet Chacham, all Rai Lamad Da'at, Et Ha'am Nimed Da'at, Et Ha'am Itot, Da'at to the nation. V'yizel V'chiker, Tiken Meshalim Arbe, and he came and he made a lot of Meshalim. V'amar Ula, Amar Abil Azar, says Ula, Nimed Abil Azar, Kodem Sheba Shlomo, Ha'ita Torah Dome L'Kfifa Shen Laoznaim. Before Shlomo Melech came, the Torah was compared to a basket that had no handles. Right, that means you can't grab onto it, it's difficult. Right, imagine you have a basket, but there's no handles to the basket. It's difficult to grab the basket. Ad Sheba Shlomo, until Shlomo Melech came, Ve'asa Le'oznaim. And he made Oznaim to the, that means he made handles to the Torah, he made handles to the basket. So he says, what is that exactly? Okay, which means that he came and he prohibited the Shniot Larayot in order to distance, right, the, in order to distance from doing any Averot. Now the truth is, that's why he instituted Eruvin, right? That's what it says in the footnote, if you paid attention. He instituted Eruvin to strengthen Ilchot Shabbat. He instituted Netilat Yadayim for Achilat Kodshim Betahara. And he instituted Shniot Larayot to make sure that we don't over on Arayot. So those are three things that were instituted by Shlomo Melech, right? Why? In order to make handles to the Torah, so that way we could safeguard the Torah. Next, right, another hint. So that was Rav Yehuda. So Rav Yehuda says it was already from Shlomo Melech, and he gave you the pasuk. Rav Oshaya Omar Mehacha, Rav Oshaya comes and he says, from over here, where is the hint over here in Shniol Arayot? He says, it's a pasuk in Mishle. The pasuk says, Pera'ehu, right? What does that mean, Pera'ehu? Which means you have to make it more, which means that Pera'ehu is Lashon like Faru Arosh, right? You have to make, uh, like by the Nazir, Gadel Pera Se'ar Rosho, which means you have to make it longer. So that means Pera'ehu, you have to add on the Yisur, Al Ta'avorbo, in order that you're not going to be over in the Yisur, Seteme Ala Vavor, right? He comes and he says, but if you're going to turn from it, you're going to transgress it. So you see from here that the rabbis have to make Gizerot in order to distance us from Yisure Torah. And therefore, the, this is the hint that we have to make a Gizerah on Shniot Larayot in order to distance us from doing any Averot. Right, which is actually the only logic. At the end of the day, the logic is, is that we don't want to transgress any of the Averot. Okay, so Amr Ravashi, Ravashi comes and he says, Mashal de Ravashiya lemadad v'menu meh, what is the Mashal of Ravashiya compared to? Le'adam meshamer pardes, somebody that's watching over an orchard, meshamromi b'chutz, if he's going to watch it over from the outside, kulo mishtamer, so therefore, everything is, why? Because nobody could get in. If you're, if you're watching on the outskirts, Right? So for example, right now you have Kiev that's trying to be taken over. So if you're going to be watching on the outskirts. They can't even get towards the inside. Nowadays, okay, you've got bombs and everything that they, you know, it's our parachutes and all these things that they come from the inside. But usually, if you're watching on the outskirts of the city, so if you're watching on the outskirts, they come trying to attack, you've got the entire outskirts. So the entire outskirts and the inskirts are going to be watched over. But if you're going to all only watch it from the inside, which means that you're already on the inside, so for only that, what's more inside is watched over. Whatever is on the outside, there's nothing there. So the same thing, which means that purposely the Torah made the boundaries further out in order that you're never already on the inside. Because if you're already on the inside, that means you already fell. Right? That means you already did an Avera. So it says the Gemara, one second. It says, one second, the words of Ravashi are incorrect. They're not true. Right? Why? Remember, this is the mashal of Ravashi. He says, why not? Hatam shelefanav mia mishtamer. There at least it's mishtamer, the inside. Hacha here, by the shniot larayot, ilav shniot paga berva gufa. It wasn't under the shniot. It would have been paga in the erva itself. Which means that it's, a, it's even more stricter than the mashal of Ravashi. Ravashi was giving you a mashal that the outskirts if you protect from the outskirts, so the outside is protected and also the inside. If you protect from the inside, only the inside is protected, the outside not. He was saying, no, because if you don't have the outside, the inside is already pogia erva. You already did the erva. So it's not correct what Ravashi actually said. It's even worse than this mashal of Ravashi. Fine. Next, Rav Kahana comes and he says, I've got another hint for Shniot Larayot. Rav Kahana Amar Meacha from here. Ushmartem et mishmarti. What does that mean? You're going to Watch over my watchings. 
It says, Asu Mishmeret. This is, by the way, written by Parashat Arayot. Okay, this is in, in uh, Acharemot over there. So it says, Ushmartem Mishmarti, Asu Mishmeret, Le Mishmarti Okidoshim. By which means that you have to make a Mishmeret for my Mishmar. So therefore, you have to make a, protect, a protection for my Mishmar. So it says the Gemara, Amalei Abayi Le Rav Yosef, how did I tell you? One second. If you're going to come and you're going to tell me that this is a Pasuk, so it becomes Doraita Shniot Larayot. Because I just want you a Pasuk of Shniot. The other one is a hint. You understand? Because I'm going to come and I'm going to say, listen, if it's written, Ki Kola Toivo Ta'el Asu and Sheharet, so there's Mashva, there's lighter ones. Okay, fine. So the lighter ones. What are the lighter ones? Midra Baran. It's from Doraita, right? The other ones also. When it says, uh, when it says, uh, how do you call it? Uh, whether it's a Pasuk from Kohelet, that uh, Shlomo Melech came and he instituted things, it's all the Rabbanan. Rav Osha, yeah, that you have to add on things in order not to try. It's the Rabbanan. But if you're going to tell me now that there's a Pasuk, and the Pasuk says, Ushmartem Mishmarti means that Mina Torah, you have to make a Mishmeret for my Mishmar, which means you have to make a watching for my watchings. So then one second, so then it becomes Doraita, everything that we're talking about. Shniel Larayot, we said it was the Rabbanan, not Doraita. So says the Gemara, no, 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 you're right. It's Doraita. You're right, it is Doraita. But the rabbis came. And they explained to us what it is, which is Shniot. So he says, one second. So <laughs> all the mitzvot the rabbis explain. What does that mean? And we don't say that they're going to be considered, right, uh, Doraita. It's Remazim or things like that. She says, no, no, you're right. Really, it's Rabbanan. And the Pasuk is the Rabbanan. Okay, fine. I, 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 I don't get it. Yeah, so what are you saying? Tanu Rabbanan, we learned to the Brayta. Ma hem shniot. What exactly are the shniot la arayot? What are the the secondary stands of the arayot? So says the Gemara, em imo, the em aviv. Right, the mother of the mother, and the mother of the father. So here you have it. Look over here. Right, Reuven. Yeah, you have here. Which means like this. Reuven is the son. His mother is whatever her name is. It just says Imo. Em Imo, his grandmother. Uh-huh. Whether it's from the mother or Em Aviv, from the father. That's a sur to a person because of Shniot Larayot. Look, this is the father. So it's a boy. So Em Aviv, the mother of the father or the mother of the mother. These two are Shniot Larayot. They're not, that means, midoraita, a person is allowed to get married to his grandmother. Midoraita. Yeah, shniot larayot, you're not allowed to. It's the second, um, it's the second stance. Okay, next. Okay. Eshet avi aviv, the eshet avi imo. Okay, the wife of his grandfather or the wife of the grandfather, mitzadwat, it's at the mother. So paternal or maternal? Look over here. You have it up there. This. Yeah, Reuven. This is his father. This is his grandfather. So Miriam. Right? Miriam is the wife of his grandfather. Now, we're not even talking about that it's his real grandmother. Yeah, because maybe yeah. it could be that he got married yeah. to another wife. Right? Doesn't matter. But still, that means the wife of the grandfather. Technically speaking, the Torah only said you're not, you're not allowed to get married to the wife of your father. But the wife of your grandfather, right? You're allowed to mitzad the Torah, and it's shniot larayot. The same thing. The wife of your grandfather mitzad the mother. Okay. Until here, we're clear. Eshet avi aviv, right? The eshet avi mil. Sorry, that's what I just read. Next, eshet achia av min ha'em, the eshet achia em min ha'av. Okay, that's this one. Okay, so right here. Reuven and Shimon are brothers from the mother. Okay, Reuven has a son, Hanoch. So look, here you have a woman, whatever her name is, Leah. She has Reuven and Shimon, right? Reuven has a son called Hanoch. Okay, so now what happens? Yeah, what happens? Hana, the wife of Shimon, is Asura on Hanoch. So here. The wife of Shimon is a surah to Hanoch. That's Eshet Achia Av Mina Em. Okay, because this basically is uncle, but it's his uncle only because it's a half uncle, because it's from the 
from the mother, right? not from the father. Okay? Yes. This is the wife of Shimon, but it's only mean, uh, from the mother. They share the same mother. Okay? Next. This is Eshet Achiyav Minayim, by the way. Yeah, it says over here, right? Yaakov has two children, Yocheved and Naftali. Okay, Yocheved has a son called Aharon. Okay, Naftali gets married with Shifra. Okay, and then it says over here, Shifra is prohibited to Aharon. To bottom line. Right, that's Eshet Achiyav Minayim. This is the wife of the uncle Right, Achia M, right? But again, Achia M is the uncle meets the mother. Okay. The same thing from the mother's side. Yeah, from the oh, father, okay. from the mother. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, Next. Shiradoda. Shiradoda. Yeah. Okay. Kalat Beno ve Kalat Bito. Yeah. Okay. This is Kalat Beno. So Yaakov has Yosef, and Yosef has Menashe. Menashe gets married to Hana. Okay, so Hana is prohibited to Yaakov. This yeah. is Kalat, be, Kalat Beno, which is Eshet Ben Beno, the wife of his grandson. It's the same thing before right. up, now One minute, down. yes, right? The, this is the wife of the grandson, and here, right, is of, from the daughter, right? Yaakov Bat, in the name of Hana, she has a son called Menashe. Menashe gets married to Miriam. So here it's Yaakov to Miriam. This is called Kalat Bito, the daughter-in-law of his daughter. This is the daughter-in-law of his son. This is the daughter-in-law of the daughter. So that's Kalat Beno, the Kalat Bito. Okay? So technically speaking here, very interesting. How many numbers do you have? Okay? Because if you were going to, because right now we only had M, M, Imo, V, M, Aviv, Eshet Aviv, Eshet Aviv, Imo, Eshet Achia, Mina, M, Eshet Achia, M, Mina, M. Right now we have eight cases if we divide them, or if you want, you could actually just say it's two by twos. Because you have any more vema viv is like one, because it's always like the same thing about the thing. is two. is three. is four. So either you want to say it's four or eight cases. Eight cases if you divide it between the father and the mother. Four cases if it's all the same, but just same category, whether it's going to be the grandparents, or the Chule V'chule, okay? Now the Gemara continues, and the Gemara says as follows. Yeah? Umutar adam be'eshet chamiv, a person is permitted in his father-in-law's wife, meaning not the father-in-law, meaning the, not the father-in-law's wife, which is the mother of his wife, but let's say the father-in-law went and he got married, right? He got married to another woman, Right? Right, whether it was that he got divorced or the other one died, doesn't matter what it was. And now he gets married. So that woman is permitted in a person. A person could get married to his father-in-law's wife. Okay, that is not his mother-in-law. That is not his mother-in-law. Okay. Ube'eshet chorgo. What is be'eshet chorgo? If his wife's son, okay, now the wife's son from a previous marriage has a wife. Okay, so that means one more time. He gets married. His wife already had a son. That son gets married, right? Whether it is that he divorces or, or he dies, a person is allowed to get married to his wife's son. son's daughter, no, the no, son's wife, sorry, right? His wife's son's daughter, Steph, not right? Everything. What do you mean, Steph? It's not his son. For sure, it's not his son. It's his wife's son. Yeah. It's his wife's son's yeah. uh, wife. Uh, his wife's son's wife. That's what it is. Wife's son's wife, meaning his wife had a son. That son has a wife. That wife is permitted to get married to the person. The asur bebat chorgo, he's prohibited in the daughter, right, of the benishto, which yeah. means that if right now he's, he gets married to a woman and that woman already had, okay, a son and that son has a daughter, he's prohibited to her. Okay? So asur bebat chorgo. The chorgo which is Ben Ishto, right? Which is again, Chorgo is a stepson, the wife of his son. Mutar be Ishto It's permitted to get married to his wife and to his daughter. 
from a previous marriage. So that means his stepson could get married to his wife that he divorces, right? That means basically the, the father, the stepfather's wife, if he divorces or whatever it is, or the stepfather's daughter from another marriage, okay? The Eshet Korgo. So by the way, here are the pictures, right? Mutar Adam Be'eshet Chami. A person is permitted in the wife of the father-in-law. Here you have Moshe gets married to Zilpa. Here you have Yosef had Leah. Right, Yosef, right here. That's Esther. That's right here, Esther. So that means, uh, that's why it's in green and green. Moshe is permitted in Esther. Before it was red and red. I don't know if you realize the pictures. Because this red to this red, this is what the case is. Meaning the grandfather to the, the grandson's wife. Yeah. So this is red, red. They cannot do it. Now, now the Gemara is saying green, green. So therefore, what happens is the person is allowed to get married to his father-in-law's wife. So here, look, his father-in-law's wife, which is the mother of the, the wife, is Leah. But instead, is the father-in-law's wife that has nothing to do with his wife. So therefore, Moshe is allowed to get married to Esther. The second case was Eshet Chorgo Ve'asur Bebat Chorgo. Okay, so therefore, one more time. Here you have, you have it on the right. A person gets married to Ada. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now what happens is they have a child, Binyamin. She had a child, Binyamin, from a previous marriage. Now Binyamin gets married to Midyam. Okay? Now Midyam has Shifra. So now what happens is as follows. Right? Adam, which is, Adam is Mutar, right? Bin Midyam. Ve'asur Shifra. So Adam is allowed to get married to Midyam. Why? It's his stepson's wife. So Adam mutar be'eshet chorgo, a person is permitted in his, the wife of his stepson, but he's prohibited in the daughter of the stepson, which means to Miriam, Adam is permitted to. So Adam could get married to Binyamin's wife. Why? Because it's his stepson's wife. He's allowed to get married to her. But the child from Binyamin and Miriam, which is the daughter, which is Shifra, he's prohibited. The like Gemara is going to explain. Okay, the Gemara is going to explain. Thank you. Yeah, now the Gemara says, okay, the Chorgo, right? It says over here, the Eshet, the Chorgo, Mutar, be Ishto, be Vito. Adam, it chateni, Madav, it Sila. A person gets married to Adam and Sila. Now, Ada had a child, Binyamin, from a previous marriage. Okay, so again. A guy gets married to two women. This woman already had a child, Binyamin. Okay? Sila has Naama. So therefore, Adam, Sila, Sila has Naama. Okay? Says, Binyamin is permitted to Sila and he's permitted to Naama. Why? Because the stepson is permitted to get married to the wife of the stepfather and the daughter of the stepfather. That's what we just said now. Okay, now, Eshet Chorgo. Okay, Eshet Chorgo. Omer lo, ani muter lechau bito asura. I'm permitted to you, and the daughter is going to be asur. So here it says like this. Adam mitchateni Rachel, right? She yesh la ben minisuim kodmim, Yosef. So now I don't know why we're changing the names, but okay, you have Adam and Rachel. Adam got married to Rachel, and they had Yosef. She has Yosef from a previous marriage. Okay, Yosef gets married to Shifra. It's over here. Yosef gets married to Shifra. Then Shifra has Naomi. So again, the same case that we had before. Adam gets married to Rachel. Rachel had a previous marriage. So this is a stepson. Stepson gets married to Shifra and they have a child Naomi. So now what happens? Eshet Chorgo. Eshet Chorgo, the wife of the stepson, is muteret omeret lo. She could say, Ani muter lecha ubiti asura. I'm permitted to you. But my daughter is prohibited to you. So that's what she could say. Ani muter lecha, right? Ubiti asura lecha. So this we already learned. That the person can get married to his stepsons. Yeah, but this is the omeret lecha. Omeret lecha, right? That she could say to you. Which is very interesting. Because it doesn't really make sense. You're saying, one second. Right? That what? The, the, the woman is permitted. Now the daughter is prohibited. So says the Gemara. Right? Well, now the Gemara is going to say. Bat chorgo doraitahi. Says the Gemara, I don't understand you. 
I thought that bat churgo is a doraita. But what does it mean doraita? Which means that me doraita, a person is not allowed to live with his stepdaughter, right? It says in the pasuk, et bat bena ve babita, which means amina Torah, you're not allowed to take not even the bat bena, the daughter of her son, or the daughter of her daughter. So why are you telling me now, right, that bat churgo, right, is going to be prohibited? That's what we just said, three lines up. Asur bevat churgo. What do you mean asur bevat churgo? That's Doraita, it's not Durabanan. Right, we're talking about Shniyon. Shniyon Larayon means it's Durabanan. Here it's Doraita. So answer the Gemara, you're right. Mishum de Kabay Lemit Ne Seifa. Since we needed to teach in the Seifa. Okay, at the end of the Braita. Eshet churgo merit lo. That the wife of the stepson is going to tell him that animu ter elecha obiti asur alecha. That I am permitted to you, even though my daughter is permitted to you. Even though my daughter is prohibited to you, right? They didn't make a gizra even the rabbanan. So that's why they came and they taught even bat Okay, fine. We could. Recording in progress. So Kakadosh, we're just continuing where it says over here: the wife of the stepson Eshet Chorgo is going to tell him. I am permitted to you, but my daughter is permitted to you. Now, the Afal Gav de Biti, the Surah Lecha, that means even though my daughter is permitted to you, to be Doraita. Because remember, it's not only that the daughter is prohibited, meaning your wife's daughter. Not only is your wife's daughter is prohibited, but even the granddaughter, everything's prohibited. But the Didi Logazuber Rabbanan. But since I'm the stepson's wife, they didn't even make a Gizrat de Rabbanan. So, Tana Reisha Bat Churgo. That's what we also taught in Reisha Bat Churgo. So says the Gemara, if, if so, Eshet Chamiv Nami Teima, also the wife of the father-in-law, would also say the same thing. Ani muter elecha, she could say, I'm permitted to you, but my daughter is permitted to you. But it's a chot ishto me'av, because it's a thing. Look at this. This is the case. Moshe gets married to Shifra and Pua. Here's Moshe, Shifra and Pua. Shifra has uh, Miriam, and right, Pua has Esther. Okay, so each one from the marriage. Then Esther gets married to a third person. Okay, so now what happens, right? Shifra could come and say, right? I am permitted, right? Ani muter lecha, and Miriam, my daughter, right, is prohibited. So now like this, one more time. Moshe, who's the mother-in-law of Adam? The mother-in-law of Adam is Pua, correct? Because he got married to Esther. Esther is the, the daughter of Moshe and Pua. So his mother-in-law is Pua. Who's the father-in-law's wife? Shifra. So here, Adam and Shifra. You see Shifra here. Shifra is permitted to get married to Adam. However, though, Shifra's daughter Miriam is prohibited to get married to Adam. Why is it pro prohibited to get married to Adam? Because Miriam and Esther are half-sisters from the father. So therefore, the mother-in-law could come and, not the mother-in-law, but it's the wife of the father-in-law could come and say, I'm permitted to you, but my daughter is permitted to you. So it's the exact same thing. Not only is it the daughter-in-law saying that, but even the, 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 the step meaning the stepmother-in-law could also say the exact same thing. So says the Gimara, ha psikale ve halo psikale. The isur of bat churgo, the isur of the daughter of the stepson, right? That's what we're talking about over here, is a surah forever. But the isur of bat eshet chamin is not always, right? Because after his wife dies, she's permitted to. Which means like this, in this case over here, in this case over here, right? Let's say Esther dies. Is he allowed to get married to Miriam? Yeah. If Esther dies over here, is he allowed to get married to Miriam? No. If Esther dies. Ah. In the left side. So if right now Esther dies, can she get married? Can he get married to Miriam? Yes. No, I can't. One more time. I'm going to ask you a simpler question, right? The doctor, I'm surprised. Listen carefully, right? If somebody's married to Rachel and Rachel dies, is he allowed to get married to Leah, his sister, her sister? A full sister. Of course, yes. Remember, the sister is only prohibited during her lifetime. During her lifetime. Who is not the mother? After 
after after the death, right? After the death, she's always permitted. So now what happens is like this. This is not even a full sister. There's a half sister. It's other father. So therefore, says the Gimana, there's a huge case between the previous case, which is this one, right? This one, right? And the other case. What was this case? This case was Adam gets married to Rachel. Rachel already had a previous uh, child, Yosef. Yosef got married to Shifra. So now, if right now Shifra wants to get married to Adam, she's permitted. Why? Because it's only the stepson's wife. The stepson's wife yeah. is permitted to Adam. But, but the wife. daughter, no. Why? Because it's Rachel's granddaughter. It's his wife's granddaughter. Anything that comes from Rachel. One minute. Rachel's granddaughter. So Rachel's granddaughter, right, is prohibited because it's his wife's daughter. Her granddaughter is always prohibited. So says the Gimana, right? I'm permitted to you, but my daughter is prohibited to you. Right? The Gimana says there's a huge difference between these two cases. Hapsikale vehalopsikale. What does it mean, hapsikale, hablopsikale? In this case, right, is Midiam. Would Miriam become permitted ever to Adam? Here's Miriam, the daughter of Shifra, the sister, the, the half sister. Would she ever be permitted to Adam? Yes, exactly. Which means it's psika. There's a pasik. It stops. The buck stops here. There's a case where Miriam will also become permitted, right, to Adam and Ishon. However, the, not Adam and Ishon, Adam, right? Here in this case, you could go down 20 generations, it's always the same. Because it's no psika, there's no heter le olam. There was never a heter, right? Do you know? It goes forever. You continue going down and down and down, le olam, it continues going down. Doesn't matter. We only talk three generations. Because how many generations are we going to teach? We're going to teach five, six, but it's, it continues going down. So the same thing. Halo psika le here, it's not psika le. Psika le means the isur of bat eshet chamid eno muchlat, because after his wife dies, he's permitted to her. So therefore, we didn't teach it. Okay? Fine. Says the Gimana. Okay? Next. Amar Rav Amram. Says Rav Amram. Right? Amar Rav. Says Rav. Okay? Rav says, Arba nashim yeshlem efsek. There are four women of Shniot Larayot that they have an efsek to the Suran, which means that they only prohibited them and not the generations above or the generations below. Four women. Okay, four women. Pay attention. Four women that they did not prohibit above and below, only those women. Nakitrav Bidet Tlat Rav only had three out of the four, but he didn't know what the fourth one was. What is the case? Number one, Eshet Achi Ha'em Min Ha'av. Okay, so what does that mean? Look over here. Yitzchak has two children. Yitzchak, over here. Okay, Yitzchak has two children. Rachel and Levi. Okay, Levi gets married to Shifra. Okay, next. Right, Rachel has a child, Yosef. So here, one more time. Yitzchak has Rachel and Levi. Levi gets married to Shifra. And Rachel has a child, Yosef. Doesn't matter from who. Right? From another husband. Okay, from another man. Our external man. We don't need to know who. Now, Shifra, which is the wife of Levi, right? Which is the brother of... Of Rachel Mina Av, right from the father, okay, Asura Al Yosef. So now she's Asura Al Yosef. Now what is this? This is basically his uncle's wife, correct or not? Yeah. The uncle's I wife. So Eshet Achi Ha'em Mina Av, right from the father. So this is the the wife of Achi Ha'em of the mother's uh, brother from the father. Okay, Shnia Asura. So now this is one case. Okay. Next. Okay. Eshet achi ha'av mina em. Right? Lelea has two children, Reuven and Shimon. Shimon gets married to Hana. Okay. Reuven has a son called, I think that says Hanoch. Hanoch. Yeah, Hanoch. Hanoch is prohibited in Hana because it's again, it's his uncle's wife. 
but the uncle's wife is from the Av, from the father, not from the mother. There was no girl here, right? Because here in the previous case, this was a girl. So it's from the mother, right? I mean, his mother's brother. Now it's the father's brother. Okay, so that's this case. She is prohibited, right? But is permitted. Okay, now it says, Kalato. Uh, by the way, we okay. We should. What do you? We, we didn't do the previous case because this is a case which is permitted, which means right. This was the because we said that only these four women are prohibited or three women are prohibited. It was the only uh, three, and the other ones are permitted. What was the other one? In the same case, Yitzchak has Rachel and Leah, right? Rachel and Levi. Rachel and Levi. Right? Levi gets married to Shifra, right? Rachel has Sila and Shifra, right? And then what happens is is that Sila has Yosef. Okay, so Yosef, right? Yosef over here is permitted, right? Shifra, which is the wife of Levi, is permitted to Yosef over here. Why? Because it's a great uncle's wife. So the great uncle's wife is permitted. So you see from here that this is one of the women that they only made a decree on her and not on the sibling, not on a generation above. Okay, next. This was, so now one, one more time, this is the same case. Now this was for the boy. You remember we said from his aunt, his uncle's wife, but again, from a boy. So now what's the next case? One generation down. So what's the one generation down, right? One generation down, right? Is Hanoch. So now he's permitted in Hana. Why? It's a great uncle's wife. Okay. So therefore you see that it's permitted. Next case, Kalato. Right? What is Kalato? Right? Or Kalabito. Okay, so it says like this, Yaakov has a grandson in the name of David, the son of Hana, right? Bitosh Yaakov. So Yaakov, Hana, David. Okay, bet. David gets married to Miriam. Okay, next. Miriam is prohibited on Yaakov because of Kalat Bito, meaning Yaakov cannot get married to Miriam. Why? Because it's his daughter's daughter-in-law. Okay, the Kalat Bito. Okay, so the daughter's daughter-in-law. This is his daughter. This is her daughter-in-law. So the daughter's daughter-in-law. That's called Kalat. Kalat is always, is always a daughter-in-law. So says the Gimara, but Kalat bit, bat Bito is permitted. So now what happens if it's one more generation down? One more generation down. So now one more generation down is going to be permitted. Okay, fine. So Yaakov comes. So Yaakov comes and he has, right? And, and now it's going to be one generation down. Uzi'idi, right? Zaidi comes and he adds a case. What's the case that Zaidi is adding? Okay. That we, that we didn't learn. So says now Zaidi. Zaidi is going to come and he's going to he's going to add by right, the following. He says, yeah, he says, look at this case. Right? Yaakov has Tzila. Sheolida et David. Okay, so Yaakov, right? Yaakov holid et Tzila, shehi holid et, et, et David, right? Yaakov to Tzila to David. Okay, so now what happens is Yaakov gets married to Leah, which is a Surah David. Why? Because it's Eshet Avimo, right? It's the, the, the wife of the Avimo, of the grandfather. Okay, now Yaakov has another child, Yosef, sheolid et Tzila, sheolid et David. Yaakov itchateni Leah, muteret le David, mishum eto Eshet Avi Avim. So basically, the grand, the wife of the grandfather of Avivimo is permitted. So the wife of the grandfather is permitted. Okay. Then, but Char Shniot and Emsek. But other Shniot, they don't have a sec. For example, Hana has a daughter, Tzila. Tzila has a daughter, Miriam. Miriam has a son in the name Yosef. Just like Tzila is permitted from Yosef, right? Because it's the mother. So to Hana is a Surah So that means here, right? Yosef, everything is prohibited. Right, Yosef cannot get married to his great great. Uh, you understand? This is his mother, grandmother, his great grandmother. He cannot get married to his great grandmother. Right? Again, even if we were talking about in a case where a person would want to do such a thing, you tell me, you tell me your great grandmother, but she whatever it is, even even she got married at twelve. I'm saying it's a great grandmother. Right? Yeah, even if you're going to say what? That means what? Each one gave birth at twelve. Even if each one gave birth at twelve, oh, it's twelve thirty twenty four thirty six. We're talking about something like 36 years older than a boy. You know, and the boy has to get older in order to get married. So you're talking about like a, 
you know, a person, you know, that, but whatever, it, it's, it's obviously, it's just in the mind, just to understand. That means that the concept is, is that this Yosef is going to be prohibited, not only in Sila, but also in Hana, everything. Why? Because there's no Hefsek, it does not, it does not stop. The but Shash Niyot. The yeah, okay. Lelea Ben, right? Yeah, Lelea Ben Beshem Reuven, and Reuven Ben Beshem Hanoch, Hanoch Ben Beshem David, Teshem Shelea Asura al Hanoch Miyoto Em Aviv, Kachi Asura Gamal David, Miyoto Avi Aviv. Same thing. David is going to be prohibited on Lea, just like Hanoch is going to be prohibited on Lea. The same thing. Eshet Avi Aviv, the same thing. Right? Yaakov Oliv. Right, so in, in these cases, there's no effect. There's no effect whatsoever. Why was it just continues going up? So therefore, right? Um, if it's a step, it's okay. Which okay. if it's a step, it's okay. Huh? The 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 one. One minute. One minute. One minute. Okay. Next says now the Gemara as follows. Okay. So one more time. Uzidi musit af eshet avimo. Okay. Nekuda. Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak says Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak besimanech. The the siman to remember what was the shniya that the idi added on is dor echad above the shniot of rav, which means that rav came and he told you which one of the shniot he added on one. So that's all you have to know that he added on one. Okay, fine. Says the gemara. Okay, the rav my tamelochashid. Why didn't rav count the one of the idi? So answers the gemara because michal palehu. Because you could get confused with Eshet Avi Aviv, which means Rav holds that Ishto, Eshet Avi Imo, right? Enefsek, means he holds that the wife of the grandfather, which is basically from the mother, the maternal grandfather, Enefsek, because if not, you could get it confused with Avi Aviv, right? Which there is no Hefsek, right? Even though it's not true, which means from the father's side, there's no Hefsek. From the mother's side, there was a Hefsek. But we didn't want to. You know, differentiate was if not people would get confused, so therefore we prohibit it as well. Well, Zeide, Zeide comes and he says, Lehatam Shiach Ve'azim, right? A person is common going there, right? The Lehacha Lo Shiach Ve'azim, something which is the exact opposite of nowadays, but just so that way you should understand. Here it says people are, are, are accustomed to going to Mishpachat Aviv, meaning people always go to the father's family, right? But to the mother's family, people are less common going to. And therefore, he knows that there's, since there's more kurva, there's more closeness to the father's side than the mother's side. So therefore, we're not going to suspect that, one second, if you're going to be permitted to the grandfather meets the mother's wife, so then you're going to be permitted from the grandfather meets the father's wife, because it's too close. Meaning, nowadays, it's the exact opposite. Usually, your girls stay by you, and the boys are the ones that go off. Once upon a time, it was no. Once upon a time, who stayed by you? The men. The men were the ones that continued the family business. They continued everything. They get the Yerushot. They get everything. The girls were the ones that went off with their husbands. But they you, you never met the girl again. Oh, you met her whenever it was. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like nowadays exact opposite. So he says because of that, it was common. It was known that the father's side has a bigger kurba than the mother's side. Okay? Says the Gimara Kalato. What exactly is Kalato? Now we're on Kafala Famubet. Right? Kafala Famubet 21b. Says the Gimara Kalato. Doraita hi. One second. Kalato is Doraita. It says in the Pasuk, You're not allowed to reveal the, the nakedness of your Kalat, your daughter in law. So says Gimana, no, Kalat Beno. We're talking about the ones, it's Kalat Beno, meaning your son's right daughter in law. That's not Doraita. Because Doraita is your daughter in law, but your son's daughter in law is not Doraita. The Kalat Beno Yeshua He says, what? Kalat Beno does have an Efsek. Natanya, we learned. Kalato Erva. Kalat Beno is Shnia. The Khenata Omer, Bivno, Vem Beno, it's all It continues going. Then it's here. You see that the daughter in laws continue going for generations. There's no sex, it continues going. Uh, one, two, it continues going. There's no, there's no sex, right? The person is not allowed to get married to his daughter in law, and they continue going. Daughter, the son's daughter in law continues going. All the daughter in laws, okay? No, as I already said, no. It says continues going in generations. As Sof please pay attention to the words. One more time. It's all going down. It could be 20 yes. generations. Yeah, okay. no. Ella Eima, but rather, Kalat Bito. We're talking about the daughter-in-law meets the daughter. Yes. What does that mean, meets the daughter? Tamar Rav Chasta, because says Rav Chasta, right? He says like this. He says, Hamin Tamigavra Rabba Shmiali. I saw this from, a, I heard this from a very big rabbi. Okay. Umanu, who is it? Rabbi Ami. Lo asru kala, ela mipene kala. They only prohibited the kalam because of another kalam. It means they prohibited the daughter-in-law because of another daughter. The amluli kalai. So these are the, the ones that they look in the stars. 
they went and they said, Milefana Haveta, Chacham Tia, you're going to be a Chacham. So Amina, so I said, I Gavra Rabba Havina, if I'm going to be a Chacham Gadol Batora, as the Ramidati, so then I'm going to know it from my own. Meaning I'm going to understand it on my own, and I'm going to understand it. I Mikre de Dar de Kavin, but if I'm just going to be a Milameti no Kot, Ashelam Rabbana, the Tulebet Nisha, so I'm going to ask the rabbis from the Beit Knesset, and they're going to tell me. So therefore, they told him, you're going to be a Chacham, but he didn't know what level of a Chacham. Is it going to be like a teacher of students? Right? Or is it going to be So he says, if I'm going to become a Chacham Gadol Batura, I'm going to understand it by myself. If I'm only going to become a teacher, I'm going to have to ask in the better midrash. So hashta svarat amidati, but now that I understood it on my own, right? And what did I understand on my own? So he says, so therefore he knows that he's going to become a great person himself. Lo asru chachamim kalat bito. Remember, what is kalat bito? This is talking about ben bito. Ben esh ben bito. What is ben bito? Ben bito means his son's daughter. But now this is the eshet ben bito. The, 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 sorry, the, 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 son, the, the, the daughter's son. Sorry. Exactly. So no, but that means we're talking about his grandson's his grandson's wife. His grandson's wife. Okay. So they prohibited his grandson's wife. Okay. Which be'emet, there's no isul mina Torah, ela mishum kalat beno. Rather because his grandson's wife, because it comes from the boy. Meaning here, right? Unlike what somebody wanted to say before, right? Here, right? It is also a direct connection. The difference between the connect, direct connection was one is coming from a boy and one is coming from the girl. If it's coming from the boy, there's no effect. It's a sur. If it's coming from the girl, it's permitted. So therefore, the grandson from a girl, meaning a person has a daughter and that daughter has a boy, his wife is really permitted in the, in the, the grandfather, basically. right? That wife is permitted in the grandfather. But they made a gizira, halat, right? Bito, because of Kalab Benon. So Amale Abaye Lerava says Abaye Turava, as Beralecha, I'm going to explain to you, Kegon Kalata de Barbe de Bey Bar Tsaite, of Papa Amar Kegon Kalata de Bey of Papa Baraba, Ravashima Kegon Kalata de Bey Mari Bar Isak. Right? I mean, it's basically like this. What each one in their generation was giving a story, was giving like a live version, so that way you should understand in that generation of a person that he had the Kalata Ben and also Kalata Bat. So since you also had Kalata Ben, you had Kalata Bat, so therefore he comes and he says, you have both, okay? Fine. So now we're going to ask the following question, okay? And we're going back to the pictures. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy the pictures, right? Right? So he comes and he says now like this. Right? So one more time. Leah has two children, Rachel, and David. Rachel has a son called Yitzchak. Okay, so we're, uh, one more time. Leah, Rachel, and David. Leah has, Rachel has Yitzchak. Okay? Now what happens is David gets married to Hana. Okay? No problem. All of a sudden now, what's the din of Hana to Yitzchak? Right? Why? Because it's Eshet Ach Imo Me'aem. What does that mean? Here, this would be the wife of the uncle, but it's the wife of the uncle meets the mother. Originally, so therefore, therefore, what's the halacha? That's what the Gemara asks. Okay, so says the Gemara, right? Here, right? Look at here, this case. Okay, Leah has two children, but now everyone's boys, remember. Once it's boys, it changes the entire story. So here you have two boys, right? You have Reuven and Shimon. Reuven has a son, Hanoch. Okay, and then Shimon gets married to Hana. Now the question is, is Hanoch permitted to Hana? Here, for sure, it's going to be prohibited. Why? Because here it's the, the uncle's wife. It's at the, bro it's at the father. It's at the brother, meaning it's, a, it's at the boys. Okay, so in this case, or Eshet Av, Right, mina av, right, which means again, Shimon Le Yitzchak has two children, Rachel and Le Lewi. Rachel has Yosef. Okay, Levi gets married to Shifra. So now the question is, Shifra is prohibited to Yosef because it's Eshet Achi Imo Me'av from the father. So since it comes from the father, that's why that means it's again it's the uncle's wife, but this is and it's coming from his mother, but everything's from the father. 
So for here, it's going to be prohibited. Here, there's Tzad Av. So when there's a Tzad Av, who the Gazur Rabbanan, there's a Gzira of the rabbis. But if there's no Tzad Av, meaning that there's nothing of the father, it's only coming from the mother. Maybe there's no Gzira in the Rabbanan. Maybe there's no difference. So Amar Rav Safra says, Rav Safra, I don't understand you. Eshet Achia Em Mina Av is also only a Sur Gezera Mid Rabbanan. And we're going to come and we're going to make a Gezera, Lig Zera. Why are we going to make a Gezera, Lig Zera? At the end of the day, if it's already one Gezera, we don't make a Gezera, Gezera. So Amar Rava, Rava comes and he says, Atukuru Lav Gezera, Lig Zera. He says what? They're not Gezera, Lig Zera. Everything's Gezera, Lig Zera. Why? Imo is an Erva. Em Imo, Shnia. Look, there's Reuven. His mother is Imo, that's an erva mina Torah. Meaning he's not allowed to live with his mother, mina Torah. However, though, the grandmother, right, is a Shniot Larayot. Why? Because since she's close to the mother, meaning she's one generation above, this is Shniot Larayot, which is the grandmother. Okay? The same thing happens with Em Aviv. Em Aviv, the exact same thing, because this was the mother of the mother. Now we're going to the mother of the father. The same thing. Ruven, right, to the grandmother, is the same thing. That's going to be what? That's going to be Right, al vegazru al because of emimo. Here, right, the they made a gizera her because of her, meaning the mother is doraita, the grandmother is shniot larayot. But one second, why would you make a decree on her shniot larayot? Anyway, you're not going to go with your father, so there's no there's no erva. Why why are you making a decree on the father's mother? But because of mitzad the mother, it's going to be a problem. Why? What's the reasoning? Because you're all calling them safta. You're calling them. That means basically you can have a relation with your grandmother. Who's your grandmother? Your mother's mother or father's mother. So therefore, they're both going to be prohibited. Okay. Next, eshet avi aviv, the wife of your grandfather. Okay, eshet aviv erva, meaning if it's going to be the wife of your father, that's erva. Okay. Remember, your father's wife is Erva. You're not allowed to live with your father's wife. But your grandfather's wife is Shniya Larayot. Right? That means here, he's not allowed to get married to Miriam. Again, Miriam is obviously not his mother. Okay? It's his stepmother. Okay? So he's not allowed to get married to Miriam. But, the, but that's an Erva. Because he's getting married to his father's wife. He can't do that. But the grandson would be able to. So why is Rasul? Because of Shniya Larayot. Gazru al Eshet Avi Imo. Now you plug it back to the woman now, right? The woman now, she's not going to get married to the father's wife. So therefore, there's no erva here. So if there's no erva here, why are you making a decree on Ruven that he cannot get married to his grandfather's wife, right? So he says, So this case, this case is a gzera of this case because of Aviv, the Tamamai, Kulo Dove Abba Rabba Kale, because they're all called Eshita Saba, the grandfather's wife. That means it doesn't matter whether it's in this case, for this case, it's a grandfather's wife. So in both cases, it's a grandfather's wife, even though in this case, technically, it's a gizera because of this case. In this case, it's only Shniot Larayot. Remember, Shniot Larayot itself is already a, a gizera. Next, another case. Okay. Eshet Achi Ha'av, Mina Av is an Erva. What's the case? Okay. You have Yaakov has two children, Ruven and Shimon. Ruven has a son called Hanoch. Okay, Shimon gets married to uh, Hana. Now what happens is, Hanoch cannot get married to Hana. <coughs> Why cannot Hanoch get married to Hana? Because it's Eshet Achi Aviv Mina Av, which means this is his uncle's wife from the father. Uncle's wife from the father is prohibited. That's an erva. Right? You cannot get married to your aunt. Right? Getting married to your aunt, right? Even if, if after she gets divorced, it doesn't matter. It's your aunt. So your aunt you're not allowed to live with. That's erva. This case, where it's coming from the mother. So now it's the, the mother. Leah has Ruven and Shimon. Shim, uh, Ruven has Hanoch. Shimon goes and he gets married to Hana. Here, Hanoch to Hana, technically speaking, is only going to be Shniot Larayot. Why? Because this is Hanoch getting married to his uncle's um, wife, right? From the mother. Because it was only the same mother, it wasn't from the father. So this is going to be prohibited because of the because of coming from the same father. Okay? So this is Shniot Larayot. They gazru, they made a gizra, al eshetachia em mina av, yishum eshetachia av, 
mina m. So they made a gizra in this case because of this case. Why do they make a gizra? Tamamai, shu de kulu de bedodi kavas. They're all called the the aunt, the wife of the the wife of the uncle. So therefore, even though you should only make the gizra on mita the father, they made the gizra mita the mother because it's your aunt, right? The the father's uncle. So mine. So now the question is, what is the halacha then of eshet achia m, right? Min ha m. So what is the halacha then on eshet achia min m? Do we say that it's also a gizra because it's the wife of the uncle or not? So Tashema, we're going to try to bring a proof. The chiyat of Yudah Barshila Amar, but Rav Yudah Barshila came and he said, "Am Amri b'Marava." They said in in, in Eretz Yisrael, "Kol shabenekeva erva." Any time that in the female it's considered erva, in the male they made a gizra on the wife. Mishum shnia. So if there's an erva in the male, they made a gizra because of shnia l'arayon. The Amar Rava and Rava says, "Klala hu." It's a general rule. Chamoto. This case, chamoto is an erva, correct? Moshe gets married to Chana. Chana is the daughter of Leah. So this is called erva, right? Leah is the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law is erva. Eshet chamiv, muteret. But this case, which is eshet chamiv, is permitted, right? Here, Moshe gets married to Chana. The same case. But now it's Yaakov's wife. Now Rachel has nothing to do with, with uh, what's her name here? It's not the daughter. It's not the daughter. Whatever her name is, I can't even say it. Chana. Right? It's not. That means Rachel has nothing to do with Chana. So Eshet Chamid is permitted. Right? Midur Abanan. Bat Chamoto. Bat Chamoto is Erva. Right? Here, right? He got married to Chana. Bat Chamoto is Erva. Why? Why is it an Erva? Because it's his, it's his, it's his wife's sisters. His wife's sister, okay? Eshet ben Chamoto, right? Permit it. What's Eshet ben Chamoto? So he says over here, Eshet ben Chamoto, here. Moshe could get married to Shifra. Wait, wait, in this case, one more time. Leah has Chana, and Leah has Yitzchak. Yeah. Moshe gets married to Chana, and Yitzchak gets married to Shifra. Yeah. Here, Moshe could get married to Shifra. Why? Because Chana, if this was a girl, it's prohibited. But since it's a boy, it's the wife of this one. So it's, it's good. So, right? So, Eshet ben Chamoto, Muteret. Bat Chamiv is an Erva. This is Bat Chamiv. One more time. Here you have David has two daughters, Chana and Sila. Okay? Moshe gets married to Chana. So now Sila is going to be prohibited because of Chotishto. Okay? So, Bat Chamiv, Erva. Eshet ben Chamiv, which is this Even case. Later. One minute. Then, fine. Right? If Eshet ben Chamiv, Muteret. Here, the wife of ben Chamiv is permitted. This case. It's going to be permitted. Choragto, next case. Choragto is Erva. That's stepsisters. Right? Moshe Yitchater Im Chana. Right? Moshe Yitchater Im Chana. Shela Bat Rachel. Okay? Rachel is Surah Moshe. Exactly. That's a stepdaughter. So Moshe gets married to Chana. So he's not allowed to get married to Rachel. Okay? That's a stepdaughter. Yeah. Okay? That's Erva. Eshet Chorgo. Muteret. Here. This case. Right? She has a stepson. The wife of the stepson is permitted in the in the in the in the here. Bat chorakto erva. This bat chorakto, right? One more time. This is the daughter of the choreget. This is the daughter of the of the stepdaughter. The yeah, daughter yeah. of the stepdaughter, exactly, because it goes straight down. So it's prohibited. Eshet ben chorgo is going to be permitted. Okay. So therefore, now the gemara is going to finish with the proof. Vehad rav Yehuda, right? Bar shila laitu imai. So what is the case of rav Yehuda bar shila coming to include? Love letter is not coming to include eshet achia m mina av techol shne kevai erva bezachal gazlu al ishto mishum shniya. So therefore, since achota m mina m is erva mina torah, so the chachamim mira gizera that it should be shniya. So says the Gemara, my shnaha, my shnaha. What's the differences then between the five women that we mentioned above and the klal of Rabbi Yudav Shila? It should be the exact same thing. So says the Gemara, ha bechad kedushin, yeah, veha. Is it, by the way, this is the review of Ashila. What is it coming to include? That as long as the nekeva is erva, here the nekeva was an erva. So therefore, you're going to say that in, in this case, when there's in the in the boy, shouldn't you make a decree? So says the Gimara, what are we coming? Here we're talking about, right? Um, here it's Bechad Kidushin Mikravla and Hani Adikatre Kidushin Mikravla. Pay attention like this. One of them, this is a new one. This is a new picture. That's the next one. Yeah? Right? He comes and he says like this. Han yadi katrei kiddushin lo mikravla. What does it mean like this? When it's talking about eshet achia emina av, with one kiddushin, he already became a prohibition. 
What do you mean the one condition? There was only one marriage. And with that marriage, it already made everything. Why? Right? For example, the Ben HaAchot. Yeah? Na'asa karov shela l'dem asi kiddushin echad shekidsha achi imo. So achi imo, which is the uncle, okay? The, the, the mother's brother. She went and she did one kiddushin. So the Ben HaAchot becomes related to him through one kiddushin. Therefore, Chachamim made that it's going to be a sur because of Shniya L'arayot, right? However, though, right, in the other case, it's two Kiddushins. Look in the footnote, he explains. For example, right, he explains, 37, right? He says like this, Kigon Eshet Chamiv, right? Eshet Chamiv, the wife of the father. Bekiddushin Shekidesh et Ishto, Naasa Chamiv. When he gets married to his mm-hmm. wife, that's one marriage. Now the father-in-law becomes a marriage to him. Mm-hmm. But Eshet Chamiv is still not a family member until Chamiv gets married to her. Okay, so that's two marriages. Everyone understood or not? Meaning there had to be two marriages done <coughs> in order to prohibit. So therefore, since there was only two marriages done, that's why we didn't make a decree. And it's permitted. But if there's only one marriage, you prohibit it. For example, Eshet Ben Chamiv, Shabi Kiddushin, Shekidesh et Ishto, Nasa Ben Chamiv Karov Etzlo, Adayin Eshet Ben Chamiv, Eno Karov Etzlo, Shekal Shen Ben Chamiv, and all the other cases, which means in all the cases, we're talking about the, how many Kiddushins need to be done in order to prohibit. Is it one Kiddushin or two Kiddushin? If it's one Kiddushin, so then we made a Gezerah. If it's two Kiddushins, we didn't make a Gezerah. Why? Because it's too far apart. Because there needed two different marriages to take place in order for it to happen. So now the Gemara is going to follow like this. Shalach le Rav Meshashia Mitusiana. One second. Shalach le Rav Meshashia Mitusiana le Rav Papi. Right? Sent Rav Meshashia, right? From Tusiana to Rav Papi. Yilamdenu Rabbenu. Teach us our master. Right, teachers are rabbi. Eshet achi avi ha'av. Right? Or achot avi ha'av mahu. So these two cases. Look at the case. Yosef has two children. Gad and David. Here's Yosef, two children. Gad and David. Now, um, now what happens is, Moshe, ul Gad, Gad has a son, Moshe. And he has a son, Yitzhak. Okay, so now, David itchaten im shifra. David gets married to Shifra. Is Shifra muteret to Yitzchak? Remember, this is the great uncle's wife. One more time. Great uncle's wife. This is his father. This is the grandfather. This is the brother of the grandfather. So this is the great uncle, the great uncle's wife. Okay? Next, another case. Menashe vechana are brothers and sisters. Right? Menashe has Dan, and Dan has David. Is Chana permitted to David? Right? Again, the same thing. Basically, it's the, um, it's, it's, it, no, this is actually his grandfather's sister. Right? Eshet achi avi av. No, this, this, this looks like a mistake here. Because here it says it's Eshet, it's the wife. Here it says the Chana is the, the sister. One more time. Minashe the Chana, Ach the Achot. Minashe has Dan, Dan has David. Haim Chana Muter le David. I don't understand. This is his grandfather's sister. This is the grandfather's sister. We're talking about Eshet Achiavi. Right. So this is not, I don't understand why he put down here the Ach the Achot. It should be the wife. It should be wife and not the mother of it. And then it so I don't know. Picture 126, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, I didn't understand. That's it. You finished? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. That, that one's a, a mistake, bro. Okay. Ah, no. Ah, that's why. It's a mistake. No, it's a mistake in the title. That's why. The he, Look in the Gemara. That's why you have to see the Gemara. The Gemara says, Eshet achi avi ha'av. And then here it says, Va'achot. You see here, Va'achot Avia Avma. This picture was Achot Avia Avma, not Eshet. Because if this is Eshet, this picture is a mistake. That's why I told you it's a mistake. This is Achot. Achot Avia Av. Now it makes sense. This is Achot. Achot Shel Saba. This picture, so this picture is correct. The title is incorrect. Here, it's Achot Avia Av. This is here, Achot. Achot Shel Saba Mutolot. Which one? Achot Shel Saba Mutolot. 
No, we're asking the question, is it a suit or not? Oh. Mitzad, mitzad, Remember, erva for sure it's not an erva. Okay? For sure it's not an erva. Because you're allowed to get married to your grandmother. Right? You're allowed to get married to your own grandmother. Mitzad the Torah. Well, it's only the Rabbanan. So says the Gemara, midlemata erva, lemala. Okay, everyone understood that picture? So, Baruch Hashem. At least we understand that was a mistake in the title. So, midlemata erva, lemala, nami gazube. Did we say that since below it, it's an erva, so so do we go upwards also and we make it an erva? Right? That means we need like a gazera. It's not really an erva, it's a gazera. Or dima haif palik darata. It's another door. It's another generation. Since there's another generation, they didn't make a gazera. So, Tashema, we wanted to bring a proof. Mayan shniot, what are shniot? And the Brighta taught a whole bunch of them. But he didn't bring these two. That means the fact that the Brighta did not bring these two cases of eshet achia via av, meaning the great, the great uncle's wife or the grandfather's no, sister, no, right? Father's sister. The eshet achi avia av, uh, great uncle's wife. Okay, yeah? Or the grandfather's sister, that's achot avia av, that's the second case. Yeah, the first case. There's two cases. Since it didn't bring it down, so therefore, obviously, we didn't make a gazera. So answers are not ton of a shir. No, it's not correct. You know why? We left some over. Meaning, when we learned the shniot larayot, and that's why I told you guys the numbers. You remember the numbers? I told you it was either four or eight. How many shniot larayot? Okay, okay, okay. Right. So I told you it's either four or eight I'm because eight is the zoom exactly zoom in or zoom out, whether it's the boy, the, the, the husband and father, meaning the man and the woman. So says the gemara, we left some over. So the fact that we left some over, you cannot bring me a proof. Ah. Since it's not written down in the count, meaning in the in the chart, if it's not in the chart, so therefore we don't make a gazira. We left some over. Says Gimana, my shiir daisha, what did he leave over? Says the Gimana, Shayer Shniot Verabhiya. Rabhiya taught another six cases. Okay? And that's gonna be in Daf Kavbet. So get ready for tomorrow for more pictures. Yeah. So that's Kavbet. So Kavbet, there's gonna be another six cases of what we just did today. Another six cases. So says the Gimana. So because of that, you can't bring a proof then. So says the Gimana. So comes Amimar, and he permitted it. He says, you're allowed to get married to your grandma, your grandfather's sister, or you're allowed to get married to your great uncle's wife. No problem. So Amale Ravi Lele Ravashi says, Ravi Lele Ravashi Nidhi Chazyali Shniot Mor Bere De Ravina. De Ravana, I saw the Reshimat, I saw the list of the Shniot Arayot of Mor Bere De Ravina. Uchtivan Shitzre Li Yisura. There were 16 women which were prohibited. 16. Not the eight that we had, 16. So says the Gemara, my love, Tamani But we're not talking about the eight of our Mishnah. So here you see that he's, he's zooming out. It's eight. It's not four. Yeah. Right? So are we not talking about the eight of our Brita, the Matsnita, the Brita that we learned? The sheet over here. So eight and six is 14. Right? Then you have another two. What are the two? Hashit said the two that we just mentioned. Uh, the, 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 exactly. Meaning the, the grandfather's sister and the great uncle's sister, the wife. So those are the extra two. And I think you have 16. So now we you have, have eight. Now we have everything. Oh. You have eight of the Brita, six of Rukhia that we're going to learn tomorrow. What are the six? And then two that we just mentioned now. So says the Gemara, Ultamech, and according to you, Shiv Seraviyam, it's 17. We already said that another one, which is a Sur, is Eshetachia M, which means the, the, the mother's Eshetachia M Mina M, which means we're talking about from. Eshet Achia by the mother, exactly. You're going from the, the mother, right? Which is basically the grandmother, but you're going from the mother. So then it's going to become 70. So Hala Kashia says, it's not a question. Hanach Tarte, because those two women, which is basically Eshet Achia via these two cases, which is basically the grandfather's sister or the great uncle's wife, the Daniel and they're both the same thing. It's still the same thing. So therefore, it's going to become 16. And then Bezat Hashem, we continue tomorrow.